building a budget PC with parts purchased from Newegg. This is going to be a quad core. You know what's funny about this budget build? The motherboard is better than the motherboard that I put in my hex core system in my last video. Now you might say, why on earth did I buy all of these cheap 1 gig sticks of RAM? Because that's the way to do it cheaply. I had originally wanted to build my hex cores in a little case like this, Roswell case, but I talked myself out of it. So this build was $416.61. I had the hard drive lying around, so that's not included. It's a, a quad-core AMD X4635, 4 gig of RAM, Win64, uh, case and power supply, motherboard, and DVD burner. Right away, you can see how tiny this case format is. There's no way that big 465 video card would have fit in there. There's just no way. I was getting all set to do the motherboard first, and then I looked at the hard drive and optical setup and said, boy, how the heck am I going to get those drives in there? And I reached down and I pulled that, and look at that. How about that action? Boy, well, that's very, very convenient. But I think I will do the, the uh, optical and hard drive first so that there's no issue later with the motherboard. It's a neat hard drive mount. Uh, well, but I don't have to do much by way of putting that into place. Probably one screw, if even that. If you're curious why I'm doing this so cheaply, well, I'm actually giving this computer away to a friend of mine. Uh, no, I'm not going to give away free computers to anybody who asks, so that's uh, no. But I do love building computers so much that uh, I have to give them away sometimes because I have too many. This assembly actually comes out completely, uh, but it was very easy to put screws in here and mount these drives in so it's ready to go. You know, Rosewell, they make cheap stuff, but look at the thought that went into this. I mean, if this thing, when this, this thing is down, that power connection would be very, very difficult. I put the annoying cables in. Uh, I only had to use the manual for part of it, which is getting, I'm building so many of these, it's getting to be kind of funny. I've really been into AMD lately. I'm an Intel kind of guy. But uh, you can, when you can buy quad-core chips, for a hundred bucks, 2.9 gigahertz quad cores for a hundred bucks. What's not to like about that? I mean, this is a machine that this person's going to be able to get some use out of for another three years without any trouble at all. The bottom here has the the. Uh, has the thermal paste already on it, so there's no need to put any more thermal paste on. And I just have to decide which side I want to put it on there. Probably this side. And I just have to figure out which what's up and what's down. That's amazing. I love how those things go on. I've had such nightmarish experiences in the past with in water cooling. Ugh, you can just imagine. That just snaps on and you're good to go. The cheapest way to do RAM right now is to buy one gig sticks of RAM. I would have preferred to have purchased two two gigs or one four gig, but this is just a lot cheaper. Now, of course, the more sticks you use, the greater there is a chance that one of them is bad. In my own personal experience, bad memory is the biggest problem that I've had. And the two computers that I just built in my last video, um, I ended up having a bad 4 gig stick that I still have to send back to Newegg. 
I'm very bad about sending stuff back. It's, <laughs> i got to remember to do that soon. I should probably be doing that now instead of building this PC. Question of priorities. I also have to send some power supplies back. You know, I'm using the onboard video, too. I never do that. Well, the way this folds out, I have so much room. It's so strange to have room to do this stuff and move around. But, um... Oh, wow, look at that. I didn't see it. <laughs> I like to put the optical on the SATA 6. And in this build, it really doesn't matter at all because I've only got one hard drive and one optical. But if you're building with a RAID, it might matter. I think I'm just ready to do the power cables and wrap her up. This has been so easy and so fast. Well, I'm looking at all the cables in here and I'm thinking, oh, no cable management. And I think no cable management in this case would not be a good thing. So I think we're going to have to do limited cable management here. Just you know, mush this down over here. Carve this over here. Shove this over here. Make sure that I'm not grounding any of the power right to the motherboard. <laughs> Shoving that down there. Voila! Cable management! <laughs>